we we're often seeing a pattern with iOS updates where like very shortly on the tail of a, of a major update comes a, a double point release. And the same thing happened this week. Just yesterday, uh, well, la last week was 10.3. And on last week's podcast, we went, we'd sort of just got a snapshot of the, the massive number of security fixes that were part of 10.3. 10.3.1 dropped yesterday with a, with a little bit of mystery. There, there's, there's the statement that, that it is important because the, and, but the only thing that Apple was saying was that an attacker within range may be able to execute arbitrary code on the Wi-Fi chip. There's a stack buffer overflow, which this update addresses. And what, and I dug around everywhere I could look. Nobody is saying anything more than that. Um, so we don't know whether this was freshly introduced by the 10.3 update or this is something that was just found that didn't make it in time, which seems unlikely, or whether it whether systems that did not yet update to 10.3 also have this. Anyway, there just isn't anything more known. But I but I tweeted to my followers yesterday that iOS users should update again. It's another monster. It's 580 megs or something like that, and it takes a long time for the, the devices to churn through it, but <clears throat> seems to be worth doing because what this means, I mean, it's not like a, a super, super dangerous, they can get you from, from some foreign land. You've got to be within Wi-Fi range, but it looks like it's a, it's a ex arbitrary code execution if you're within Wi-Fi range of someone's phone. So, something you want to get you want to you know take care of so it's it's, it's sort of mo mostly just sort of a mystery it's like okay well it'd be nice to know more about this there is a cve number associated with it there is and th and this did come from google's project zero that no doubt notified apple so maybe they they only just found out about it and they just immediately pushed out an update so if so that's you know good for them and good for us to get this fixed.